You know, I'm a huge fan of Shilky. I have uh, two or three Shilkies in my own personal uh, quiver. And uh, this one just came in as a trade and it plays so great. There's not much information on this horn online. So I thought I'd do a video on this horn and talk to you a little bit about it. So stay tuned for the S33 HD series. <laughs> everybody, how you doing? It's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. Hope you're having a fantastic day out there. Thanks so much for your great support of the shop, your continued support. We have so many horns coming in and out on a daily basis. We'll put a link actually to all of the new arrivals in this description as along with the the link to this instrument because we get horns and in and out almost every day. A lot of times I do these videos and the horns have already sold before the videos actually even launch. Um, this horn, however, we just got in and uh, it is beautiful. It's an S33, 33 HD. Now, we know of the Shilky S series as being a little bit more conventional overall, kind of if you wanna, I don't uh, mean to say this in a, in a slight way, but more Bach-esque. Um, I personally have uh, one of Alan Rubin's, Mr. Fabulous, uh, S42s in gold plate that he picked out at the factory with uh, John Faddis, Brandy Brecker, and Lou Soloff, so good company. Um, this horn is their new series, the HD series, which is a little heavier gauged, a little thicker walled. Um, I think it's just, uh, a, it's a great update to their line because it's very secure and solid. And uh, this horn, I think there's one or two other videos on the S33 out there. So it's easy to distinguish though, the 30, Two is a medium large bore with a larger bell flare. This has got the Shilkies medium bell flare, so it's a tighter bell flare. Think of the John Faddis horn, and now his newest one is the S43. So it's a different uh, bell flare, yellow brass taper, um, yellow brass alloy. Um, it's got the tuning slide brace, the positions, you know, of course, those beautiful Shilky hex valves, and the valves themselves are in great shape. Let me just pull one out for you so you can see. So the valves themselves are in beautiful shape. There's tons of pictures on the link to the description. This one was uh, used fairly um, little. In fact, I need to oil the valves a little bit, so I'll keep talking a bit while I'm oiling these valves. But um, the great thing about these S series horns is that they're super versatile. So maybe in the past, if you played a Shilky and you were like, wow, it's really great, but it's only, it's very, um, one one gear, we'll say, sort of, you know, it does one thing. These horns do so many more things than, um, for me at least, than the B series. Although I love a good B1 a B and a B6 and a B7, I think they're great horns. I have uh, better success personally on the S series. That's why I own one in my own collection. And I use it fairly often with the KCJO. Um, 
So now that the valves are oiled, I'm going to give you a little bit more of a playing demonstration past the portrait of Jenny, which I played at the beginning. Um, I'm using uh, my custom reserve mouthpieces. So um, these are all brand new to our series. Um, and this is the custom uh, reserve three. And it's just a great all around sounding mouthpiece. Let me just uh, switch mics. This is my ribbon mic. So there's zero effects. So it's very clean and very accurate. Very easy, even, clean horn, really fun to play. I'm gonna actually now play a little bit on my camera mic, so it'll give you a different room perspective. Um, it will sound a little bit more vibrant in this uh, mic attached to the camera, but I really like the, the honesty that the ribbon mic, and this is that great Barkley ribbon microphone from my friend Michael Barkley. Um, it's so, it tapes so incredibly well. But really, the, the, the three bell is a great commercial bell. So if you're looking for like a, a medium large horn that can, that can go and play in a wind ensemble, that can go and play in a brass quintet, but still has a very uh, shining forte, pun intended, in the commercial realm, then this horn will do it. Let me put in my custom reserve. Uh, let me make sure I got the right one. T-A-Z. And this mouthpiece is ridiculously fun on this. So I'm going to go to my ribbon, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the camera mic, just so you can hear the two different room perspectives again. So that's a quick tour of this beautiful Shilky S33. Horn looks great, has, has some scratching from use, a few little superficial sur surface scratches. All the details on this horn can be found in our description. There is a description in the link, so click it. And while you're here, hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for all you do for ACB. And thanks Shilky for making awesome instruments. Keep on keeping on. Cheers. Yeah.